Good afternoon, folks. I'm the voice of Dog. Welcome back to Elden Ring. Last time, a bit of progress in the south. A bit more exploring. My understanding is that Stormbell Castle is for not right now, and should be much later. I did a bit of off-screen stuff. I didn't really go anywhere new, but I checked some things out. Got a couple of souls. Still only plus two on these and plus one on that. I really need more smithing stones. I wish I had, like, a million more smithing stones so I could upgrade everything I've got. They're not making that very easy. If there's a place where you can farm smithing stones, that would be great, but I haven't found any reliable source of them. Anyway. You know what I never did? I didn't figure out Weeping Everdale. Maybe we'll start with something a little difficult. right direction? Yeah, it is, more or less. practicing my spacing. Right, I forgot about the charge. I completely forgot about second form. I'm just gonna go way over here, so you have to come to me, because that's bullshit where you're trying to get into the, the zones where I get stuck on things. Fuck that.
shit, oh shit, oh shit. Get 12 attacks now. Every boss gets 12 attacks. Wonder if he would be weak to fire pots. Oh, come on. Fuck off. Can't box on that. It's complete bullshit.
That would have killed me. No! What the hell? I am tired of this combo. <laughs> this is an annoying fucking combo. Just do all the moves all the time. Give you no chance to attack. No, the stream will not begin until this guy is fucking dead. You deserve to die. That was early. Damn it! Fucking shit! I was in the wrong spot. I can't nail him with a fire pot. I've tried. Oops. Oh, well, that's no fucking good. Maybe I'll just botch this one. Well, let's see how it goes. Do I need six Estus? Not necessarily. If I, if I play well... That's not a good start. That's a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> Fuck you, hitboxes. Look, either come towards me or don't fucking fight me at all. I'm not fighting you on the rocks. That's bullshit. Don't get hit. Yeah. That's unfortunate, because I couldn't really dodge the first part of that, because it always fucking tracks you.
Firepots do a lot of damage, but he only stands still when he's doing those attacks, so I wonder... wonder how much I can utilize them. And again, I do have opportunities when he's far away and standing still. I can throw it through, like, the Tempest. Oh. I will be so happy when you are dead. Okay, I can make 35 more fire pots, which is plenty. Atomic Collider, thanks for that follow. -up. Welcome. Welcome to Frustration.
Stop dodging! I really can't afford to hit twice on any of this second phase here. Parrying might be useful. I don't know. I'll be changing up my strategy a bit. I'm getting so close with this. Give me a wolf. Give me a single wolf, and I can turn this whole thing around. It's wild how I can take off, like, a sixth of his health with just the freebie I get at the beginning. No! <sighs> that should have been the run. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I mean, if you got a hint, I'll... I'll accept it. I can't guarantee I'll follow it, but, yeah. I'm, like, this close to winning. Get my four hits in.
not fuck this up. We got two flasks left. Wait, where can I do that? How come that wasn't an option when I sat down at the thing with the stuff? So what did I just get? Hmm. Sounds dangerous. Let's go to Danger Zone. I didn't fully explore Danger Zone because it was dangerous. I need more golden seeds, I see. Don't crush me. Oh, boy. No, I killed one. Come on. I'll take that. That's bullshit. back, please. Thank you.
Where are we going? We're going nowhere, seemingly. Okay. You can let me check my map now, please. Thank you. Flowers. Oh, what do we got here? Oh no. Do I have anything for that? Oh, fuck you. No, I don't. Cool. I'll just get the item at least. back. No souls can stay there. Or maybe I'll throw some pots in there? I don't know. Actually, I'm not too far, so maybe I'll try it. Oh, cool. Staff is a little disappointing. I'll take that. Hmm. 
Oh, so it's a good staff that I found. Unfortunately, that is not relevant to my interests. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I'll take one of those. Gravity's advantage. It's got to be Grace here, right? see it. Wherever it is, I don't see it. Get out of here. Yeah, I was like, oh, weird T-Rex. Wait, dog? I don't... I don't understand what's going on here. I would like to find some grace before I do anything else. There's not a lot of it here. Where is it?
I can't fight that thing. Well, those cells are gone. Wish there would be a save point somewhere. They're everywhere in the game, but not here for some reason. And they put me back here. Because that's... Yeah. Seriously. Alright, let's try to go to the point one. Even though I have no idea how to get up. Oh my god. Is there a mod that just, like, disables that shit? Because I'd, I'd install that. Let me look at the map whenever the hell I want. Point one. It's, uh... Let's look around. Are you kidding? Are you serious right now? It's too mm. literally down the street. Stop by the shack beyond the southern gate. I question the positioning of some of these bonfires. Town of Sorcery. Oh! Alright. Oh, you you are a ghost. Well, no, you are actually an enemy. I thought you were a ghost. You don't seem that dangerous, though, so... Alright, I guess we're exploring this now. Yeah, that's a ghost. Talisman ahead. It's bouncing off of me, which makes me think that I can get rid of that somehow. But I probably don't have... Since this is Town of Sorcery, there's probably some kind of spell or something. Spell or item that unlocks that. Oh yeah, they're, they're all over the place here. This place won't open up until I find out how to, how to deal with that. Real, you have a big sword. Oh, they can become invisible.
Whoa. It's a tiny Diego. With wings. Is that what people have always wanted to be able to do with a, like, Dex Faith build? Is that what... Because my understanding is that magic is not very good in base DS3, but there are mods, like Cinders and stuff. sort of OP in this game. Okay. Hey, a painting. The paintings hold many secrets. Okay. Uh, I beat that guy I couldn't beat last time. Which guy was that? Hero of Z Zazor. Oh, Zamor? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in he's the, dead. The jail? Thank God. That was... I spent the first half hour just tilting at that. I was like, I'm not stopping till I beat this guy. That's... I recommend not playing the game that way. I know. <laughs> it's probably not for the best. I recommend letting the game just bounce you off things. Like, yeah, you know, that's what pins and markers on your map are for. I'll come back later. You realize, though, that's, like, so antithetical to a lot of Dark Souls. Like... As the games got bigger, like DS2 and DS3, that was more of like, okay, I can go in a different direction. But, ooh, wow. That was a homing shotgun. Wow. Uh, side stream? Yeah, sure. Oh, there's a snake center. So now I'm exploring the frustrating area, but it's not that bad right now. I, I do have some opinions in that regard, but I don't want to, I don't want to just put them out while you're in the middle of a playthrough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fair. Rockus is here. Hello. Hello. <coughs> That's Where a horse. I? You okay. are pro Ooh, selling. This is a neat town. Yeah, I was just... I was hanging out here. Wasn't there a second guy? Right here? Right in front of my face? Alright, well, here's my... Hi. Can I backstab a ghost? Yes. You can absolutely backstab a ghost. Ghosts got backs, don't they? Ow. Oh no! They also got books. He's hitting He's me with He's just smacking you with a book. That would really hurt if I got hit by that shotgun, huh? I don't even need my fucking magic. I'll beat your ass with this book. Ah. It's a guy spec like me. But he's got wings. Yeah, he's got wings. He's got the advantage. Today was the first day I got to sleep past seven in like a week, and I love it. It's great. That's good. Yeah. All right. I was playing this area fast and loose because I was able to beat most enemies in a few hits, and I was starting to get a little overconfident. Yes, and you see what happens if you let them surround you. Well, I was not paying attention to the guy in front of me. That's why I died last time. Uh, the second I called the horse... Oh, it was right here. All right, I gotta get rid of one and then roll away from the second. That was the attack that killed me. Oh no, I got booked! Those two guys standing right next to each other are actually pretty dangerous. Rip. Rip, Rip from book. I can't believe I died the book. That's so sad. GS3 is interesting to try and make a source. There's a yeah, there's a really good sorcerer swordsman build. That's actually what I'm using right now, or was last time I played. I've beat 
I beat the game. I got one ending, and there's two more endings that you get trophies for that I need to go back and do. Mm -hmm. Is the uh, in, is where I'm at in this or three? In this. Okay. I've plat I got the platinum for one, two, three, and Bloodborne. I still haven't played Sekiro. The Sekiro from Soft or is Neo from Soft? I can never put. Straight. Sekiro is from Soft. Neo is um, Sony. The the. The Ninja Gaiden people. Oh, Team Ninja? Is it is it just Team Ninja? Actually, I don't know who made Ninja Gaiden. I'm sorry. I know very little about Ninja Gaiden. Oh, you just got a sword. Team Ninja, yep. They also did Dead or Alive. Yeah, that was fun for a little bit. <laughs> Dead or Alive 2 is really fucking fun. Dead or Alive 2 Tag Team? On the PS2, holy shit! Get a multi-tap, get four people. I used to play that with three other friends at like high school nerd parties. We had like a rich friend with a really nice basement. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. I I only played it once, and I was over at. Um... Uh. Our friend from college that I went to high school with mm -hmm. was over at his house, and he and his little brother played a lot of Halo. That's where I played and got my ass kicked at a lot of Halo. I would also play Halo with them, and at times I would tilt really fucking hard, because <laughs> Halo is just so goddamn frustrating when you're playing against people way better than you. Um, and but I could, bought... I could play other stuff, like, like Dead or Alive. I, I would actually practice a bit. Well, they picked up a Dead or Alive for their Xbox. I don't know which one. They got it because there was a, a Spartan, like a Master Chief character in it. Was there? It must have been Dead yeah. or Alive. Yeah, I don't remember which one. But it was it was literally just Master Chief, but with titty armor. Yeah. No, th like, I'm not going to pretend the designs are good because they're pretty... <laughs> they're, they're not. But the game itself is fun. Like, some of the designs are fun, like Zack. The uh, the breakdancing guy. Four alive sack. Oh, this guy looks like a hoot. Yeah, he was fun. Um, so to describe to the audience for oh, folks who may not know. Also, um, uh, Hayabusa is in that game. I'll check him out next. We have we have a very muscular black man wearing uh, like gi wraps around his feet. Whoa. And hands, um, little shoulder. He's got like little like shouldery bicepy um, rope braids. I'm not sure if they serve a function, but they, you know, they're fashionable. But the only other article of clothing he's wearing is some Ed Hardy ass Ace of Spades flaming boxer shorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he had an absolutely crazy move where he would just start air running, uh huh, and just and just do like an overhead double axe handle attack. It was so fucking weird, and it was so bizarre that the first time you saw it, you usually would get hit by it. Oh, uh, by that Hayabusa, you just mean Ryu. Hayabusa, Ryu is in the game. Protagonist of Ninja Gaiden. Ninja that Gaiden Ryu, not Street Fighter Ryu. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, Zack is Muay Thai style. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so he's got a lot of got a lot of weird kicks and stuff. Oh, man. Um Have you ever watched uh Tony Ja, any of Tony Ja's movies? Uh what Did was I make Ongbok, the Warrior, and the Protector were the two big series. May, I think we might have watched Ongbok a long time ago, but it's been forever. Um, he's Is Ongbok like the, the one about the elephants? That's the Protector. Oh, the Protector. I saw some of that when I was at the cabin in uh, Colorado, actually. Where he has to travel to Australia to get the elephants back? Yeah, I, I saw the end of it with the baby elephant. Oh, yeah, that ending. Um, did yeah. you see... <laughs> The end of that movie has the 10 minute fight where he's running up the spiral ramp in the tower. Did you see that part? Maybe. It's a one shot fight up this big ass tower, but it's it's a it's a shopping mall. It's a high-end bougie shopping mall. Okay. Basically. 
like for the for the the super duper elite. Um, and it's got a big spiral ramp instead of stairs or an elevator that just goes up the inner perimeter and there are storefronts all along the ramp that you can, you know, and he just has to get to the top and he just runs straight up the ramp. There's a hundred people trying to stop him and he's like, they've got all of these shots where it's choreographed where he like goes into a shopping, you know, into a storefront, fights his way through the store, but the camera stays outside and you just hear it and he comes back out a window and then like people will knock him back down it takes 10 minutes it's all one shot it's really fucking impressive that sounds cool that's an um, unbox for the protector that's that's the end of the protector that's like oh the, okay the final push I, to the final boss i was situation. like oh damn it i lost some souls his outfit is traditional muay thai garb even the ed hardy boxer shorts sure Um, the cool thing about Dead or Alive, uh, in general, was that you had these, you could, or at least to me, I don't know if this is a good mechanic or not, but you can counter most anything, you just have to back and gar, and back and block at the <laughs> same, at the same time as, as getting, like, if it's a punch, you know, and it's up a high, then you just back and block. If it's a kick, if it's like a low kick, you down back block. I see. I kind of got to match the elevation of the of the attack. All right, I'm having some trouble here. Um, question before you push yourself too far: Have you found a quest in this town? Nope. Just looking for places okay. to go. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I was just looking for new stuff because I want to get stronger so I can handle Stormvale. Sure, maybe check the peripheries instead of trying to push straight through Town Square. Okay. Would be my advice. Um, so, I'll go back to outside town right here? Yeah, that's a good yeah, start there. Yeah, um, anyway, Tony Job ja doing it for the camera, I'm sure it's, you know, toned down and stylized a lot, but fuck me, does it look dangerous. Oh, yeah. Like, anybody who knows what they're doing in Muay Thai. From what I understand, the basic premise is, hmm, the hardest parts of my body are my knees and my elbows. How can I use my knees and my elbows to make everybody sad? <laughs> I started working explosives into my, into my repertoire. Uh, this is here, yeah. Yeah, that's probably how you got here, if I'm guessing. So, I was going this way before, but I ended up going south in a really dangerous area. Maybe I'll just go across the swamp this time. Rune Arc. What? I don't know if you can do anything with those. I don't think you can do Grants anything. Grants the blessing with those yet. of an equipped great rune upon use. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't think you have any great you... runes. Why do you have orbs? Orb. Sword orb. Ah, okay. I should not have bothered yes. that guy. Orb and, like, yeah, he was just pondering his orb, and then you had to go fucking interrupt him. Well, I haven't been having a lot of luck today, all things considered. Uh, I did beat that one guy. And then I wandered here. <laughs> and I've been kind of get, been getting my ass kicked ever since. Uh, maybe if I go... I can go south from here. Big dung beetle. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him alone. He's fine. <laughs> I need to fuck with that. Have you not been killing the dung beetles? I have been when I when I can, but right now it seems like a bad idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're they're the equivalents of your your crystal lizards. Well, when they're white, right? 
What do you mean? When they're white, they drop rare materials. When they're red, they drop flask uses. Yes, yes. But also in the sense that, you know, the main challenge is catching up to them and killing them before they get away. Sure. Okay, so I did... I, I've been to the other side of this zone. I, I found a merchant, actually. Oh, boy. Puppy! These things are nasty. Yeah, they're not... Not not friend puppy. Oh, their man, proportions are so weird. Their I proportions hate are so fucked. It's really scary. I hate their tiny necks. Am I better off on foot? No, it really doesn't seem like it. Hi. Uh... I... <laughs> Puppy wants in! Puppy wants in! Play! <laughs> Do cutscenes make you immune to Scarlet Rot? I guess so. Hey man, I'm not listening to you that much right now. He's got a favor he needs to ask you. Okay, fine. I'll do a quest. Yeah. I need you to heal a certain young girl. Her name is Millicent. Resting at the church of Cliff. Stricken. Also, Gary, you may you may need to do some remodeling on your house. You have taken everything from me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what does that mean? That's saved now, right? I can't undo that. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. Did I get the quest? Um... I mean, Millicent will probably still be there. <laughs> I have no souls, so I can fight this thing on foot. Oh my god. Oh, there's god. a way to bring them back, okay. That's right, wasn't that in three? Uh I don't remember. I remember there was a way to make people not pissed off at you anymore if you hit them. Please put that. That was really good. Somebody. If if you're so inclined, that that's a good clip right there. I didn't do it. Oh, man. This fucking game. I'm thinking maybe... I'm thinking maybe I should come back to Kaelid now. Everything is bad here. I mean, everything is bad here, but it is kind of... Uh, is it, the is, next is place. Is it where I'm supposed to be right now? So, Stormvale... And, uh, and the Weeping Peninsula are definitely your starting areas. And then beyond that, you can go to Kaelid, and there's one other major place you could go to. Okay. How were there no... Did I really explore? I probably didn't explore all of this. I probably found the map for it. Yeah, that definitely looks like the boundaries of a map. In fact, you don't... What am I talking about? The, the fog doesn't lift until you find the map. Right. There's more stuff in Kaelid to the, the north and the south here. Yeah, but how do I get north? That's something I've been having a problem with. Because north just runs into a mountain. Uh? Or wait, there's a hill up there. Alright, let's see what's up there. And then we'll see if it's dead end or not. Oh yeah, it is a dead end. Thank you for the clip, Johnny. Johnny Clip. The enemy. Oh. Did. Is there maybe a path through this tunnel? I haven't been in this tunnel in a while. I'm going to check it again. I remember it being pretty bad, but now I've got better weapons or different weapons. 
more opener. Yep. Oh, yeah. Ow. He's got friends. But yeah, these these sort of like slave mining tunnels. There's a number of them throughout the game, and yeah, the those those guys are a big hurdle early on. It feels really good when you can just fucking clown on them. Four and five. Come down here so I can stab you or crush you. I would maybe rush up there and take them out first. Because I'm pretty sure these guys will just stay dormant until you attack them. Go get them. Oh, that one. The one with the staff. Uh-oh. Yeah, that one. I hate the giant silverfish. That thing's horrifying. It's got so many little legs. That's one thing about the Pacific Northwest. I don't think I've seen any silverfish, not even once, in the so decade I've lived out here. The day. <laughs> did I go up the ladder? I forget. I think you did, yeah. This is where I went. Reminds me of that one area in Tunic. Oh, hi. No. Oh my god, maybe. Oh my god, you got a lot of health. Ah, oh, my shield! No! Ah, my gravity! Yeah, they're nasty. Maybe I'm going to run away from that guy. Let him win. He was also... Let him just sit there knowing he beat you. For now. We can come back and kill him later. It's always later. Also, he's a gross bug. Do, do they have those... Is that a thing known to insect kind? Ghosts? Do they have go Is that what you were asking? No, ego. Does does the gross bug monster have ego? Like a sense of of Self? pride. Oh. Yeah. I don't uh I don't know. Has insect been the first species to experience the true ego death and enlightenment? I have no idea. Or are they just a Bunch of petty little backstabbing shits. God damn it, I can't wait for Casey's new game to come out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, weird bug world. Like bug fables, but but hard. Like backstabbing horrible fucking bug fables, yeah. Uh oh man, there's two of them here. Yep. Why did I come here? This is awful, this place. You're boned! I am getting the fuck out of here. Oh shit. He doesn't think so! So, where's that fourth continent? <laughs> um. Wait, what direction is it in? Out of curiosity. It is. It is north. 
like this north? Uh, not from your current position, no. From your current position, it is northwest. Oh, maybe here? Maybe. I gotta get out of here first before I can teleport. Do you? Yeah. Oh, good. You found the War Master. I remember last time you were, like, not finding much in the way of, of Ashes of War. Right. Does he have stuff that I can buy? If you have the souls. Yeah. Ah, Storm Hill, where I won't immediately die. Ah. Uh, I will make fresh no progress breeze. today. I will just languish in safety. Okay, so we got upward cut. Kick. Endure. Damage taken is reduced. Boost poise. I think I've got this one already. Also, take note at the top of the description, it tells you which types of equipment you can yeah. equip, you can put that skill onto. No also, skill. no skill is more useful than you'd think. Does it allow you to block? Um, it allows you to hold a shield or torch and a weapon and use the weapons skill if you put no skill on the shield or the torch hmm. because normally what's in your left hand or you know what's in your shield hand would um, be prioritized Ooh, storm blade quick step quick step's pretty good usable on all melee or armaments parry daggers curved swords thrusting swords fists claws and small and medium shields that's cool. Impaling thrust. Capable of thrusting colossal weapons accepted. Okay. Not float well. There's no rush. Yeah, there's no rush, but I'll I'll probably be back. Cause yeah, with your current setup, what's your skill? Your parry. Yeah, you got your parry with your shield. If you threw no skill onto the shield, you could use the mace's skill instead. Okay. Which is like the twirling swing. Yes. And just bleed, 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 bleed. Oh, I thought you were a merchant. <laughs> so you jumped off and murdered him. Puppy. Shaggy I'm puppy. Of you. you are not ten feet tall and also a T-Rex. <laughs> that was fucking weird, those dogs. Kaled is fucked. Caleb is Caleb fucked. Caleb is fucked. Yeah, I don't know how much lore you've gotten about it, but Not Caleb is fucked. Not very many. I mean, it felt like that guy would have given me some lore, but he's dead now. So. Possible. There's also a lot of in the environment, like something happened and like just the earth uh -oh. itself around here is not good anymore. Uh oh. Hmm. This is a bad combination of enemies and I can't summon. And I'm stuck in the level two level three, so I'm dead. That has caused me way too many deaths this game. Just, I'm stuck, stuck in the level two, haven't you? Yeah. It's been happening way more than usual in Dark Souls. And I don't know why. Well, there's that also is. there's also a lot more <clears throat> There's also just a lot more fucking terrain they had to design, so it's like I guess the kind of thing where I guess they just didn't have time to QA test it as thoroughly as they would. Because the fucking map in this game is huge. Yeah, Holy quite shit. Large. I haven't played Breath of the Wild much, which is to say I only did about 30 hours. Okay, I was trying to go 
I don't remember any woman down there. But it sounds like about the same... It seems like about the same as far as just physical terrain space. Yeah. I was saying earlier, I need a mod that allows me to look at the map whenever the fuck I want. That's a little annoying. I don't care if I'm in danger. Like, I'll take responsibility. I think the reason for that is they don't want you using teleport to get out of a fight. That's fine. I don't plan on doing that. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. The woman that's like, I'm going to be harvested soon. Yeah, I didn't really know what she was talking about, but it doesn't really sound good. Well, if I remember correctly, there's grafting going on, and Tarnished are being uh, collected for grafting in Stormvale Castle. Whatever that means. Diego Ow. here to save the day, and then gets hit in the back of the head. Like you're standing so close together. We did beat Margit. Unfortunately, that just means you can go to Stormvale Castle. Have you ever seen grafting done on, say, like a tree? I think I have, actually. Uh, is that where you cut off a branch and then, like, attach a bag of water to it so it sprouts? And then put it in the ground or something like that, or graft it to another tree. Oh, you mean like in the real world? Yeah. Hmm. I see. I see. But what if three dogs? What if three dogs? Perfect. Perfect. Dogs are doing their job. So, has that dastardly international criminal Hideo Kojima been brought to justice yet? Um... No. I don't know how to follow that up with a joke, I'm sorry. I'm just tired of, uh... Because <laughs> immediately it's like... Like, how is this going to be made into something about Silent Hill? I think I saw some... <laughs> I think I saw, like, Voidberger tweet, and I'm like, Man, I don't even want to think about that. Wait, is this just the, the way to Stormvale Castle? Yes, this is where you fought Margaret. Oh, why am I... I kind of sworn there was another area. No, I can't do that. So then... That's not where I wanted to go. Actually, on second thought. On yeah, second thought, I want my horse to take that right on the face. <laughs> Nipples can be grafted for mastectomy. Okay, so what I want to do is go under the bridge. 
and go to the finger reader crown and then maybe cross over here. Well, yeah, we'll see, there you go. There, fine. I'm okay. I'm not owned. Let's get away from the the fucking the pain squad there for a second. All right, I think you're clear. Map says no. Okay, get more clear then. Okay. There we go. Uh, so, a little oh. further back under the bridge, so right about here maybe. There's, there's the nice lady. She's just nothing bad about her. Please, I can read them. You. Oh, bless you. I like how there was no option to not show hands. She will have those hands. Foundation of gold, traverse, Rhea, Lucaria, Glintstone, even Okay, I got one of those. Oh, but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. No, don't do this to me. Only Stormvale Castle still stands tall. Are you saying I have to go through Stormvale? You Going through Stormvale is one option. Pretty broken bridge. Yeah. Yeah. City Planning Commission has not been keeping up with their... Well, maybe I can go around? Uh, damn it. No, well, try going around. Okay. <clears throat> Regret. Aha, this is what I was looking for. Okay. Oh, I found out how to get what's his name's attention, and he needs to go do that. What's his name? The wolf guy. Oh, Blythe. Yeah, I should just run back there and do that. I presume you can use him for like a summon or something. A friendly Blythe summon. is pretty cool, yeah. But like, and I haven't used those yet, but I might. So. Because I noticed him and I didn't know what to do about him. You're large and have a dog head. Oh. I will not harvest those birds. Oh, nice. Um, one health. Fun fact. Fun Blythe fact. is a Welsh word. Can you guess what it means? No. Wolf. It's just the Welsh word for wolf. Oh, really? 
Yeah. And being Welsh, it's, uh, you know, spelled not like you think it would be. Mm. It's B-L-A-D-D. -D. Because two Ds get you a th sound, I think. But only sometimes? There is a uh, running thing in a in a Doctor Who about the bad wolf. It's it's a thing, um, but <laughs> at one point I haven't it's, seen it's a lot Doctor of Doctor Who. Yeah, everything in Doctor Who is way longer and more complicated to explain than is worth it. Mm -hmm. But um, there is a part in an episode where they go to Wales and they end up at a place called Blythe Drug Bay. Which is a little little Easter egg for folks like that's Bad Wolf Bay, uh -huh. which may or may not be an actual thing in Wales. I don't know. I never went to Wales. So where am I at here? I'm here. You are in Laerna of the Lakes. Okay. back now yeah this was something people found out very oh. early when they got tired of of Stormvale. they were like fuck it and they went around exploring and they realized i can just go around it fuck oh yeah i tried ground slam it seems kind of neat it gives you iframes <gasps> Shit. That could be good. Bloody Skamiter. Wait, what is Arc? In the attribute arc. scaling. Arcane. Oh. Do I care about that? Uh, your arcane stat is what increases your bleed. So any blood, any bleed weapons you have, increasing your arcane stat will make them cause more blood loss buildup. Hmm. So for that, yes, you would care about that. So I do want that. And uh, your flail would also benefit from that. Oh. Yeah, actually. No, but my flail can't take my flail can't use it, unfortunately. No, but your flail just does blood does bleed innately. That's one of its just one of the things it does. So it would benefit from arcane ink your arcane stat. <laughs> yeah, strength defense and arcane are cool. pretty uh pretty common build because there's lots of weapons that you can use to uh, take advantage of those things oh man they just gave me a bonfire right off the bat in a new area there's a church god you're spoiled don't you know there's a church which means there's going to be something good in there cool hi and a new friend and Perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not, <clears throat> I studied Flintstone sorceries at the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. For a small donation... I don't... Do I even have ten runes right now? Well, bless you. You're a true... My name is Topes. Presuming you're interested, only none of them are particularly great. <laughs> Yeah. Back to the Why, of course. Apology. I'm afraid my meager. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering. The Academy cast repelling seals on the East Gate, leading to the capital, and the South Gate, leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of learning. 
So why not? I had to go get smokes right then, didn't I? You can't pass through the academy, and you'll never reach the Earth Tree capital. And if you find an ex, once you've tied up all your loose ends, would you consider donating to me? I know it. I'm a blunt stone, but still, my pl find yours without one, and you'll never. Okay. So I need a glintstone key before I can get into the academy. Correct. And eventually I may be able to give it to that guy. Also correct. Hi. Kind of looked like this might be a ramp for something. Everything the light touches, Simba. Can you imagine making that agreement? Yeah, I'll just stay where all the darkness is so plants can't grow and then animals can't feed and my entire food chain will die. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen it, but the the, li the live action quote unquote remake, mm -hmm. they put in a lot of stuff about the class discrepancy between the lions and the hyenas, and on exactly that vein. Mm -hmm. Um, it still looks weird. Like the CGI animals look weird. Oh, from I never what I've seen in trailers and stuff. Yeah, I have no desire to see the other <laughs> see the. The photorealistic one, I think it would just weird me out vaguely. Like, Timon and Pumbaa look like an actual ah. ass meerkat and warthog. And here's the thing about warthogs they're fucking gnarly looking. Sturdy, but not incredibly dangerous. Keep chopping away. Smithing Stone Three. I've been wanting to find more smithing stone ones so I can, like, get the plus three and then beyond. Hi. <laughs> and then the wolf jump on him. Get him! Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook. Can I make a key? Uh, so your cookbooks just automatically add new recipes into your, um, your set. You can go into key items and find the cookbook, and it'll tell you exactly what they added. Okay. Well, it looks like that's one. Crystal Bud, widely found in Lyrnia Lake. Well, here I am. 
Yeah. Oh Reduce fall damage. Excuse me. Little, uh... Okay, so the fall damage things are... Not as useful as you'd think. <laughs> of course not. They will reduce the damage as long as you have fallen a distance that is in that sweet spot between actually hurting you and not outright killing you. <laughs> if you fall a certain distance, then you just die, no matter what. I see. Yeah, it's, uh... Frustrate. That could be a map. Isn't that usually what that means? Yes, those okay. little marker totems. Well then. Oh boy. Swamp. Is this one poisonous? But no, it's not. Miracle. Just swamp. No death swamp. Good swamp. Save the wetlands. Oh, hey. I didn't even notice the grace. I thought that was just the ghost. Staff. Uh, we have not fought any boss. No, actually, I fought um, Hero of Zamor and, and beat him today after some difficulty. Yeah, no, there's a whole How big did you think the map was? I'm not sure. Cuz like I think it's this big. But there's a lot of water, so it's really hard to tell. for now. Yeah. I dare say the map is perhaps a bit too big. Maybe.
That's one of those things that's been creeping up in game design over the last couple of decades, and it's just kind of, eh, maybe tone it back a bit. Bell. You will receive no customer service. What are you? You look like you could be a problem. Whoa! Okay, having... Oh, he's got bells, too. I think I've almost got the horse. Oh, no, no, that was him. Goodbye. Those projectiles could be a lot worse. They're very slow. They're yeah. easy to, to get out They're of. They're very easy to get away from, unfortunately. And they don't track you that well. They kind of lazy track you out. And they don't do a lot of damage either. I have very few runes. You're poor in runes, but rich in friends? Hmm. Oh. Crystal bug. Cool. I think they're just being paranoid. Hi, him, bully. How you doing? Uh, doing okay today. We're trying to find new areas to go because every area is kind of kicking my ass a bit. I beat one mini boss today. Well, if it helps, you now have access to three separate main bosses. Mm -hmm. So you got three different flavors of get fucked that you can push out in. Uh -oh. You may recognize this guy. Um... Whoa. Ah. Oh, don't worry. I'm still complaining and tilting. Uh, no! But uh, exploring a new area is still pretty fun.
Also, were you wondering what grafting meant? Yeah, it's a human centipede. Yeah. Um, at the I very beginning of the game, when you stepped out into the training grounds, there was a boss that just, like, is there to hose you and send you to the next area. Mm -hmm. That's him. One of those. Okay. You also might have run into one while in Stormvale Castle, depending on where you went. See, that's a good question. I don't know if complaining is an overall dislike of the game, or it's just, like, reacting to it. Uh-huh. Travel. Okay. See new lands. I think in the case of Dark Souls games, like, you can expect me to complain at some point. That doesn't mean I'm not enjoying the game, though. I The struggle is still fine because I still think I can get strong enough to overcome it eventually. I have been dropping a lot of souls today, though. Ah, this must be that door. Meeting place map. So, in the initial launch of the game, this item did not exist. Oh. <laughs> a small island... Where is it? it well, no, is it in the swamp? Oh, I need more map. Would that be where I want to go? Uh, I would recommend that, yes. I require map. Uh, tend to have trouble differentiating when people say things and... Elden Ring are bad, isn't poorly designed, or bad, isn't very difficult or frustrating. It can be one or the other. Depends. Uh, there's a lot that I would say is both, honestly. But, we'll get there. Fire it! No, fuck you. This is only for the bad people. Squish. Oh, wow. Baby head wanna play. Maybe head wanna play now. What if three wolves? It's your answer for everything. And it's going to be for a while. Until it stops working. Oh. Yeah, it took me a long time to find that out. Oh, there's just a little fucker in the back. That's fine. Wolves can just distract the front. I don't watch a lot of mech anime, but from what I understand, there's a common thing of like, well, if the mech is too strong, kill the pilot. Yes. Whoa. Wow. Congratulations. You somehow managed to dodge being on fire. We're all just spinning right now. Okay, fine. Someone's going to die. Eventually. Fire Blossom. It's like the Jacko fight from part five where they're just shooting each other until someone falls over. And all the shots are landing. I 
Lightning Stone 3. Okay. Getting close to where I can maybe get my swords up to plus 3. Hmm. One wolf That's a good survived. Point. When's the last time you've been back to Round Table Hold? Uh, I actually went there last night when I was just doing it, when I was trying to grind for smithing stones. Hmm. A figure in the distance. Prepare for murder. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a crone. Isn't it? You. You. Oh. Ah, Michaela's favor can be yours. Slaughter. 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 Ah, all hearing. Slaughter, don't you know? But, but all you need to is snatch it. From the big pot. <laughs> Pretty the poor, poor fool. <laughs> okay. You, you have no, no, no. You already got one. Show me your fingers. Those revenants seem like they're going to be a problem. Right, I was heading to point two. Yeah, so this is how you're intended to get up to the castle gates. It's much easier going the back way. Crab. We must do battle. Big, big crab. Have you considered that large crab might not want to battle? Maybe he just wants to... Nonsense. Dead flesh. Wait, what? I don't know what crabs eat. Where did you come from? Whoa. He was piloting the crab. Maybe. I love these little guys. Uh, they just swamp people? They're called Albernicks. Actually, yeah, it has felt like there's way more enemy variety in this game. Oh, certainly. That's, that's oh, an holy shit. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> God, they have projectiles. They do little cartwheels all over the place. Ah, cartwheel! Okay, yeah, this is a good enemy. I like this. Four of them is, like, actually kind of a problem. Because if they all, because if I get multiple cartwheeling at me at the same time, I'm in trouble. Crap. Hmm. That thing's large over there. Look, if I don't kill them now, they'll become large crabs. Problem uh. grows. Okay. Map north. Okay. Now you've got what you need. 
now you've got the ticket. Yeah, at launch, there was no meeting place map, and to find the Glenstone key, just uh, fuck around and find it, why don't you? <laughs> Hmm. Just by looking at this, I don't actually know. Well, re-examine the other map. Some ruins to the south of it. Mm-hmm. Also, note the shapes of the coastline. That's a big, that's a big thing you can use to, to find your way. Could it be up here? Or here? If there are ruins to the south here, then this is it. Okay, well, let's head in this direction. In a moment. First, a, a, a brief rest. A short sit down. A tiny amount of fuck. Ah. Man. Control is 70% off on Steam Summer Sale. I guess they needed to email me about this. Yeah, they do that. You can turn so, that off. I already, I already have that game. It was good. I liked it. It was fine. It had some flaws. But it was good. It was fun. Uh, the, the thing at the end is by far my favorite thing in that game. The... In the office... No, uh, in the hotel the final time, and you get the music video ah. of Dr. Darling. Yes, yes. And he's singing some old song from the 70s. I looked it up, it was by this band called Mud. Oh, it, it was an actual song. It was an actual I song with the, with the name was... changed from Jesse to, mm. some, from, to Jesse from something else. Okay. I just assumed it was the kind of thing that oh, they would have written. Oh god, no! Am I dead? No. Because they, they are not shy about coming up with new media just to be background fluff for their games. Yeah. The fucking Alan Wake had these, like, Twilight Zone radio plays you would get. Um, hell, Control had the those creepy uh, fucking puppet doll Sesame Street things. Yeah, those are great. The... the the Bunker Kids, or whatever the fuck they were called. Oh god, I have not played any of the hard stuff in Baba Is You. I am not smart enough for Baba Is You, I fully admit it. I do... I do, uh, take a look at it once in a while. But I don't get very far. I don't have a programmer's brain, is the problem. I think that's really essential for that game. Like, I watch people like Slowby play it. And, uh... It seems like they really understand the mechanics as they're walking into a level. And that's impressive. Extreme is a joke game. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. I thought it was, like, the hard stuff. Freeware on itch? Okay. All oh, right. so somebody made, like, a fan game. Okay. Is it extreme? Hardcore. Because... Because after, after playing Slayer's X, I'm very much in that, in that mood for some over-the-top bullshit. Okay. I made a fan game of my own game. Ooh, blue flowers. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Ah! Uh, uh, no, actually, this is bad. I don't like this. 
Oh, is Baba is you one of your games, Hempu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I it's... didn't know that. I played a bunch of uh, Environmental Station Alpha, and yeah. I knew that one, but I didn't know. I they didn't know Baba did is Noita. you. They, they worked on Noita with some other people. Noita. Uh, uh, it's really interesting because um, every know, pixel ICA. is like a physics object. It's a roguelike where you're a wizard with a jetpack. Um, sold? All you had to say was wizard with a jetpack. Do you not know me? Ah, God. <laughs> I died. I did. I also played ESA. It was really good, but I. I don't remember finishing it. I think I don't... I think oh, I certainly didn't finish it. It's very hard. It's um, very challenging. So that was one of the games that Dectalon just, like, gifted me. Because mm -hmm. he's... Yeah, I think Dectalon might have generous to me as well. Um, he'll just do that sometime. After Pit last week, he gifted me a copy of Monster Train after we talked about it for... Oh, I picked it up Emily as well. Got, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I haven't played it yet, but I picked it up. I haven't either. I haven't had time. Fucking Shoden Jaeger from my streams. He loaned me his his old DS and Final Fantasy Tactics Advance from back when I was playing 12, and it's still sitting here. I haven't had time to touch it yet. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, Dectalon gifted me ESA. We did a stream, and I was just like, "This game is huge." And then he was telling me like, "Yeah, if you want 100% this game, it's more like." 250 percenting this game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, because that's that's bringing up some like Symphony of the Night memories from my childhood. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and you guys are a problem. I'm just gonna run over here. Hang on. Nothing stone. Alright. Frustrating, yeah. but like uh... in that Metroid Prime. In that Metroid Prime, or that, uh, that Metroidvania way, where it's like, okay, there's something I'm missing. There's another thing out there I can get to make this easier. Right. And that encourages exploration, which find you know helps you find secrets, and yay. Which Elden Ring does to a degree. In that regard, Elden Ring does it a lot better than most Souls games. Like, your random items that you're going to come across and you're just like, you know, your consumable bullshit, it's a lot more useful than their equivalents in Dark Souls or mm -hmm. Bloodborne most of the time. Because, like, Dark Souls, black fire bombs and dung pies, when did you use those? Yeah. Oh, wow, I know some heavy. people use the fire bombs to do like speed run shit to take out asylum demon, but that's about it. No, plug away. Fucking wish list of Tama on Steam today. Plug, 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 plug. Okay. Actually, it's not my stream. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. I don't care. If it's somebody whose games I've played before and enjoy, yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Which I have. Floating. Speaking of game devs, I've been following... Um I keep seeing uh, Dave Gilbert on Twitter. Uh, he got COVID. Yeah. Uh, a while ago. He's, he seems like he's pulling through fine. Um, or as fine as one could. But he keeps tweeting about like his weird fever dreams that he keeps having. And I kind of keep nudging him, like, use it for inspiration. I want yeah. like, a weird Dada Watch It Eye game. Come on, let's do it. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, where is... Uh... <laughs> well, I'm trying to think of... I'm trying to compare it to something, but it's not really coming to me. I want I want Abe Goldfarb to voice the cha the the clown with chainsaws for tits. Let's go. Wouldn't that just basically be Strange Land? Uh, actually, dreams? yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh no. Dagrin, is Dagrin? Have you found a Dagrin yet? Now you have. I thought that was a summoning pool.
beam. Stone Dragon Smarag. Smarag. I think they're going for a Hobbit joke here. Yeah. Like they're trying to play off a of Smaug, but it's not really rolling off the tongue as well. Yeah, it's also worth noting that George R. R. Martin did a lot of the writing and the lore. He was on a very tight leash from the devs, but he did write a lot of shit for this game. Boy, I'm not doing a lot of damage to this guy. Is this so guy there's going to the be... Stone? Yes. Damn it. It's going to be hard. Um, and I haven't killed that other dragon yet. He's probably a little weaker. But yeah, there is, there's going to be some more influence to Smaragd is Scandinavian for Sapphire. Oh, okay. I did. Neat. I didn't know that. Smaragd is finished for Emerald. Neat. That makes sense. Magic is this game is very much based around gemstones, oh, nice. and crystals, and things. Get him in the foot. We can win this. It's just gonna take a while. Wow, that that sounded the most like something out of a Saturday morning cartoon I've ever heard you say. We can win this by the power of teamwork. I might need a I might need some help for this. I need a distraction. Oh, wait. I was in a summoning zone. Yes. Pretty mm. much every boss is going to be in a summoning zone. They want you to summon for bosses. Like, I feel like FromSoft has been trying to fucking break the mindset of its get good fan base for a long time. <laughs> it's hard to break the uh, programming. Like, I don't summon. Well, you probably fucking should. We recommend you do. <laughs> It's a tool the game gives you. Refusing to, you know, engage with it, like, if you're doing a skill run type of thing, sure, but don't act like that's the intended experience. I just jump down there. Whoops. Uh Sorry, Hampuli put a link in to a Anoita video of like <laughs> getting very, very overpowered and then destroying yourself with your own fireball. It was really funny. <laughs> yeah, you can destroy yourself in, in Noita really easily. Uh, what do I do? Do I warp or do I try to fall here? Go with God, go with gravity? Okay. Yeah, he's definitely got that mountain goat grip. That did not kill I have spent most of my video game time playing through Bloober Team's uh, library. Why? Because I'm going to be at a horror convention in Denver, and I'm leading a panel discussion on the ethics of using um, the ex ethics of exploitation in horror. Oh, it's a it's in an idea case, that better, in that case you're studying the right shit. Exactly, yeah. It was an idea that Bob and I were batting around for a little while, and he's just st stupid busy all the time. So you're taking the idea and running with it? I'm going to run with it a little bit, in a in a very small scale. Like, if he wants to do, like, a, you know, a, a video essay on it, it's still got room for it. This is literally just going to be, like, a bunch of nerds in a room. Happy um, discussion. Yeah, but a um, lot, of, lot of bloober team, a lot of Leica. Which means I'm gonna have to fucking play Martha is Dead next. What if three dogs, though? What if three dogs, though? I'm currently on their Blair Witch game, which is bad. 
but it's the best thing they've made. Mm. It's still really bad. Oh. Also, what if you just grabbed the key and fucked off? Huh, that's a problem. Three dogs can't handle that. No. Yeah, it's fun. I got three different panels lined up for the for the convention. I'm really excited. I got that. I got one about class politics in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then another one just bitching about how American Horror Story ruined Todd Browning's Freaks. <laughs> because Todd Browning's Freaks is a beautiful film. It's an absolutely just like fantastic movie from the 30s. Where's the dragon? Oh no, uh, Beam! Dragon is... Oh, there he is. An American Horror Story did a season that was very loosely based off of that movie and just fucking just go oh my god. The only thing I've point. seen of American Horror Story was extremely high at the end of my trip. My last night there, when Slow Beef and somebody was uh they were watching the clown season. That's the season I'm talking about. The political That's season. That's what I'm doing. The what? Uh, the pol the really political season. The season that was about politics. Oh, that's not the one I'm talking. The, the, the season the that was about show American season... politics. Okay, that's a different one then. The freak show season has a killer clown in it. No, these are just like a woman is seeing clowns, but they're like jerking off everywhere, and it's like she's she's has some she's seeing things. Yep, yeah, that that sounds Ryan Murphy, the creator of American Horror Story. Also the creator of Glee. Um, he has a very interesting type of misogyny that you really only see in certain very egotistical gay men. Mm -hmm. The only other one that's coming to mind is Clive Barker. <laughs> that is built around, and it's it, the, 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 the core of it is just women, why they exist, what need for. Are women bourgeois? <laughs> Are the women the bourgeoisie? <laughs> but like every female character in a Ryan Murphy show boils down to like the same three archetypes. They're always boring. He he does the same shock moments over and over again. Oh, I can't stand him. I hate him. I I was in agony. I kept stepping outside to smoke more. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> It's like, I can handle another five minutes of this, and then I'm going back out there. I was basically... <laughs> uh, I had to, like, run out the rest of the weed that I had bought, because I was on vacation <laughs> and had to get on a plane. So, like, a good f three or four hours before I had to get up and shower and, like, finish packing and all that. I was just like, well... Let's get really high and watch clowns jerking off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I haven't watched a season since... Hotel was the last American Horror Story season I watched, and that was, like, probably a good five, maybe six years ago. Okay, so for clarification, I am not actually going to fight that dragon again, but I do want my souls back. Okay. You got the key, which is the important part. Yes. Yeah, I am aware I got the key. He also did a fucking show on Netflix, like, last year, called Ratched, which is Nurse Ratched from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah, I think I remember seeing screenshots of that. I oh, so are you kidding me? You kidding desperately. Me, oh, that there was a point of grace right there? Yeah. Um, I so desperately wanted to find someone like I need someone else who hates Ryan Murphy as much as I do to do a podcast and just like tear this show apart episode by episode. No one was no one wanted to do it. I'm not very good at media analysis. <laughs> Otherwise, I would. 
Okay, so now I go, oh, to the Academy Gate. Correct, yeah, and you should have a warp point that takes you just right back there. Yes. But, like, why the fuck would you want to show about Nurse Ratched? I don't know, wasn't she, like, a really terrible person? Yeah, she's the worst. She's one of the most, like, despicable characters in Western literature. I don't need what I, like... The show is either going to, like, oh, here's why she's so horrible. I don't care why she's so horrible. Mm -hmm. She's fine the way she is. Or what I'm really afraid of, it's going to be the fucking Cruella treatment. Like, here's why she was a complex victim the whole time. Uh, Let yes. villains just be villains. For the love of God. I don't need to know how Cruella was, like, shot down trying to make her way up through the fashion industry or whatever the hell that movie was about. Her stated goal is to kill a hundred puppy dogs. And, like... <laughs> just a hundred? Not like I'm going to exterminate all Dalmatians forever? No, she just wanted, she just wanted to make a coat. She literally... Have you ever seen 101 Dalmatians? It's been a while. You no, know, she literally wants to kill all of the dogs so she can skin them and make a Dalmatian fur coat. Yeah. That's it. And yes, I have seen the clips of the new reboot of the dogs killing oh. the parent. Oh, yeah, God. It's yeah. hilarious. Like, she has a fucking blood vengeance against dogs. Dalmatians, specifically. So, to be fair, Dalmatians are dicks. <laughs> they're very... <laughs> they're very difficult to get along with dogs. Really? Yeah, they're very, um, they're very tetchy. But, <laughs> I think that comes from, like, lots and lots of inbreeding. Yeah. We have to get the color right, but this dog will be a rebel living fuck in some way. Yeah. Oh, these are the real deals. Oh, I have a shield. But like that's there's there's a lot of that in consumer pets. Fucking apparently ferrets. Uh any ferrets that are sold domestically in the United States all come from the same farm in like Wisconsin. <laughs> and they have been inbred so much from this one farm that they don't send them to market like for at least five like a couple of like two or three years or five years i forget what the number is but um because something like 80 percent of them have fatal birth defects that will just kill them right away so they want to make sure like okay is this one gonna live long enough to be sold hmm. okay go and it's just like why did you do that to these fucking animals that sucks <laughs> you bastards! Uh, I'm gonna hide in the corner here while like, I run and grab a drink real fast. We'll be right back. Winnie the Pooh is public domain now. Could we get a gritty reinterpret? Well, Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey is in full production. Have you seen that shit? Like a grindhouse fucking cannibal horror movie where Winnie and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet like tear a bloody swath across the countryside. Oh, it's a real thing. It's 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 in it's in the works. It's expected on Shutter this fucking Tuesday or whenever the hell it comes. What is, does it have a release window? Let me see. Uh, blood and Honey release dates. Okay. <sighs> right. Quarter quarter four, twenty twenty two. So yeah, put it on your Christmas list now. Oh boy. More of these guys. They don't stagger that well. No. No. And once they get going, they're very impossible to stop. 
Guarding is probably not an option. Given that even if I could guard one attack, I probably can't guard 12. I think it's closer to like 50. <laughs> There's a lot of swings. They have a lot of arms and they swing all those arms very fast. Welcome to wizard school. Your first lesson is get past the multi-armed cage monsters. Mm -hmm. Then we'll give you your textbook. Hogwarts is for wimps. The sorting blender. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, you belong in Meat House. My cast and I got into a very long discussion about the Harry Potter play at rehearsal last week. Because a bunch of them had, had never seen it or didn't know anything about it, and it's just a fucking nightmare dream that that what stupid idiot wrote. Well, uh, I, I'm sure the... Uh, actually, with video walls and a lot of the things they can do nowadays, I'm sure it's a lot easier. No, the script itself is fucking batshit and stupid. Ah. It's... If Robert Pattinson survived the Wizard Olympics when Voldemort killed him, right? They go back in time and they save him. Okay. Which leads to him <clears throat> bitter that he lost the the games, turning into a wizard Nazi, killing uh oh what was his name? The the goofy kid that everyone made fun of. The other the other kid, I don't fucking remember. And like helping Voldemort win and wizard Nazis take over the world. Don't save your friends, kids, or wizard Nazis will take over the world. I'm glad we can glean clear messages from this. Neville, that's it. Thank you. Like, Jesus Christ. I did. I read them a long time ago. I didn't finish the. the, the I didn't read the final books, actually. I didn't read one I, seven. Um, the, the final book was not good. Yeah. I read them in college just because, like, hey, this is a cultural thing I should be aware of. And I read them and, like, okay, they're fine, they're fine. And then they got worse and worse as they went on. Mm -hmm. Like, characters just do things that don't make any fucking sense just because the plot needs to move forward. That the movies, who were fucking made by more competent people, just, just, just cut that out. Let's just make that not a thing. Like, they did a lot of that, thankfully. Right. <laughs> ah, skeleton! Like, there are whole chapters in the last book where it's like, well, if we do this thing, then all of the bad stuff will happen, and we'll all be dead, and the bad guys will get an advantage, and we should definitely, definitely not do this thing for a whole chapter. And then at the end of it, it's like, uh, I do the thing. Because that's the only way to get the plot to move forward. Books are wild. That's why I don't touch them. <laughs> like, it's the kind of thing that a first-year fucking editor would look at and be like, okay, Joanne, we need to cut, like, 80 pages of this shit. It actively drags the story down. I tried reading one of her stupid fucking crime books when they first came out just to see, and I couldn't get through it. She wrote other books? Yeah, she, um, 
she uh, started writing a series of uh, detective novels under a pen name, like Robert Galbraith or some. I think that was it, Robert Galbraith, because it's a fucking weird name. Um, and yeah, these like Thomas Harris esque, like bizarre fucking serial killer saw crime solvey type novels, and they're not good. They're all bad. Mm -hmm. I've read synopses of most of them, and I tried reading one, and I just couldn't get through it. It was fucking bad. Dick Mullen. Yeah, yeah, very Dick Mullen. That's a, that's a reference. I understand now. I get yeah. It. Now I get it. I under, I understand everything now. Well, Thomas Harris was um, Silence of the Lambs. Okay, he wrote those books. Um, but yeah, very Dick Mullen with maybe a little bit more of like a like a serial killer horror bent to it. Mm -hmm. The name uh -oh. comes from something extremely. Uh, yes, one of them is incredibly transphobic. Shock and fucking awe. Um, that's not the one I tried to read, though. The one I was reading was about, like, a fucking council estate that was being redistricted and people were being killed to prevent that. I couldn't, I couldn't finish it, but when I, when I gave up and just read the, you know, the plot synopsis afterwards, it was like, oh, by the way, poor people really need to just, like, know where they should know their, know place, their place and things get better for them like one of the characters one of the characters that has like the the thesis of the story behind it is literally i grew up in this poor council estate i went to school i pulled my pulled myself up by my bootstraps and now i'm a lawyer and you should too like cool great and this was years before her fucking turf shit <laughs> when i was just like great thanks asshole Oh no! God damn it! Well, what is she like? Isn't she like not Gordon Brown? What was his fucking name? Tony Blair? Isn't she like Tony Blair's fucking like college sweetheart or some shit? Like they're friends from way back. that please oh, okay that was on your end it was like the game just stopped great Greece is apparently actively looking for people to move there good luck with that I've been uh, I've been looking into moving and different options <laughs> is Greece an option Greece and Italy are both actively courting uh, expats from other countries <laughs> They're providing, like, very serious fucking, like, homebuyer incentives and, and tax breaks and things. I see. Because I guess the population numbers are starting to become scary over there. Well, okay, they were hit really hard by COVID, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Italy had one of the highest death rates in the world per capita. So I get it. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Um... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. And given that the EU has started officially uh, condemning United States policy, like, at the UN level, 
I'm not saying it's an option, but I'm not saying it's not an option. Waiting for that housing market to crash, baby. Come on. You can do it. Any day now. Then we can buy all the homes we want. That's the millennial home guy home buyer's guide. <laughs> My recommendation. What? Slow down. <laughs> One no. enemy at a time. I refuse. <laughs> it's the run back. I can't risk not getting to my souls. There, I killed one. Yeah, but now you got one behind you. I got four behind. Now you got four behind you. <laughs> it's become the worst level of Demon Souls all over again. No, this is not good to be around. I see somebody standing over. Oh, it's a statue. Uh oh. Okay. So he's like your friend from the Everjail, he just has a sword <clears throat> instead of a scythe. Yeah, let's see how and far he this, follows me. This purple stuff instead of ice magic. Shit. Yeah, he's gonna follow you pretty good. Out of my way. There's a lot of zombies back that way. <laughs> yeah. Sure are. Okay. Oh, there we go. And dogs. Three dogs. And zombie dog. What if three dogs? But in reverse. Okay. Um, so. That message recommended poison, so maybe I'm going to try that. Canada or New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand would be nice because I hear the country's gorgeous, but it's actively bad for people in my industry because of the fucking Hobbit.
Warner Brothers went and interfered with national labor law of a sovereign government to make it cheaper for them to produce those Hobbit movies. So both of my unions are kind of on a down foot there. Whoops. Gravity. Oh, they got those souls. Lose your souls again and again. Or whatever that old lady said. I've been itching to replay two. I never did the Scholar of the First Sin edition. Some of it's really frustrating. I remember the Shrine of Amana was like the peak of bullshit for me in that game. Wanna die too? You guys can hang out back there. Oh. Did it hit him? Yeah, it's working. We play the waiting game. No, now we die. This oh, the waiting game run sucks. Back. This run back sucks. Um. Next time I'm just taking that item. So, now you've got, like, the three major areas. Which, uh... Which one is frustrating you the least so far? Um... The Academy, Kaelid, or Stormvale Castle? Probably the Academy. 
Okay. Fuck off. Stop dodging! Did that, did that work? I can't tell if it's working or not. Or if it's on uh, me. It definitely worked. It definitely affected you because by throwing it, you know, you get poisoned as well. Like, your health is... You're, you, you are now poisoned. I don't think it built up enough on him, though. There we go. Now it's working on him. All right. Is it going to last his entire health bar? I doubt it. Oh. Can't item crap right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not in the middle of a fight. Oh, that's it? I was expecting something important. Smithing stones are important. They're the no, backbone. No, 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 no. This guy is <laughs> annoying. And invulnerable. To most things. So, would it help to know that this guy is optional? I mean, yeah, but where else do I go? Uh, there is another way out of this area. I know it's difficult to take in your surroundings <laughs> when you're being... I'm looking. Where could it be? Do you know where it is? I do, yes. Where, where You've is it? You've walked past it many times. Oh. Bye, fucker. Now, thinking with verticals. Okay, but when do I get off? Here. You made it to the classroom! I hope you opened your pain book to page 27. Witchfinder, yes, I've beaten this game once. I've gotten one ending, I still gotta go back and get the other two. Uh. I, I think I got the basic ending, despite actively going for one of the others. I don't know what I did wrong. Hit for a treasure chest. You know why. Uh, 
I do miss that thing too used to do where if you hit the treasure chest enough times it would break. It doesn't still do that? I don't think so. Can't remember if it did it in three either. But you're so scared of mimics you actively ruin your fucking your stuff. I didn't see the other guy. What is that? Three mans? Four. Three headmans? Four. Five. And a giant pot! Can be beaten. You can outpace him pretty easily. It's just if you get away and he does that spinning gashy attack at you. Mmm, gooey. Mm. Offended. Gog just sent me an email like, we've made some personal recommendations, check it out. And the first one on the list is Town of Light. There's one. Okay, now the giant pot needs to come after me. I don't think you woke him up. No. Oh. Well, I'm not going over there, so... Guess what? Hey, um... You got blood in your hair. Yep. Do you have a bow on you? This looks like a really good spot for some bow cheese. Do headshots count for more? I don't know. Let's say yes.
Bows and Dark Souls games. Very cheesable, but balanced by the fact that they fucking suck. Yeah. wall of fucking wizards. This sucks. Alright. That's enough still of that. Got, still got a couple of fire pots. <clears throat> Maybe you can lock on and find a hole. I'm just gonna run through it. Or not. I'm gonna roll through it. There sure are a lot of wizards in this there wizard academy. There are way too many fucking wizards here. In this school for wizards? Okay. Fog door. The Red Wolf of Radigan. Okay. Cool. What if what if what if Grey Wolf Sif, but also Wizard? And less gray, more red. Yeah, you can use a bow. No, wait, where am I going? And the hawk ring to cheese fucking Manus in Dark Souls 1. <laughs> so there's an elevator you gotta take to get down into his boss arena. And if you stand at the edge, you can look down and just see him standing there. And if you have a bow with a good enough range, you can just. Shoot arrows at the final boss <laughs> until he dies. <laughs> Nothing he can do about it. Look at him go! Fuck all of this. I refuse your wizardry, sir. I have come here for stab. You know... This is not making a great first impression on me. Uh, which aspect? The the aspect where I fucking die when I enter the room. So, the, the boss fight specifically? Yeah. Feels like it is going to be a problem and a half if I cannot survive more than three seconds. I forgot, there's a guy on the right stairs. Yeah. Okay, well, I need that help, because... Yeah, this design is weird because there's only, like, two rooms between the grace point Fuck. and the boss. So they don't give you a stake of America. They just made sure those two rooms are as fucking densely packed with fuck you as possible. I haven't gotten a hit in. Ah, 
Um, what if you take a second at the start to summon your wolves? That's what I'm gonna do this time. Wolf v. Wolf. Oh my god, I hit you. Oh boy. Again. Alright, I think that's enough of that. That is extremely way out of my level. I cannot survive a single thing that thing is doing. That, uh, that stops this level fucking cold. What do I have in terms of liquid souls here? A lot. Well, how many levels has it been since you gave uh, Stormvale another crack? Don't know. I'm... I haven't been gaining a lot of levels because I've been losing my souls every five seconds. Well, maybe do a round, you know, level up some gear, see what you can get for your stats, and... Uh... I need three more of these. Well, actually. There is, it's also worth noting, there is no shame in looking up where to grind shit. Or I guess this would be farm shit, whatever. Need money. Must have cash. Oh. Then where? Uh, always. Selling where the land has been this only to let's say. How do you get beyond level three? Yeah. Is it at the round table? Do I have to go to the the guy? Perhaps.
for you. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Huh? Heed my warning. Those who live in death. He hunts down those who live in death and by a marin. Unless you wish to lay down eat your their life. death root. He also has a weird hand. Don't ask him. That's some Edgelord 2000 shit. Anyone remember D the Vampire Hunter? Nope. He had a hand with a mouth on it that talked to you. It was weird. Okay. Should I do so it yeah, again? That... Spend all my smithing stone twos? Is They're not good? doing you any good sitting in your pocket. I guess not. And I believe the mace goes off of somber smithing stones, so you're not even having to worry about... No, it uses uh... smithing stones. Oh, does it use regular ones? Oh, okay. Well, you can get more. Where can I get more smithing stones? Do you know? Uh, I can go to the wiki and find out if you'd like. Yeah, like the small ones. Smithing stone one. Where is a good place to farm? Actually, I'm probably going to call it for today, but I am curious because I might do that off stream. Uh, the miners in the Limgrave Tunnels. Limgrave Tunnels. I wonder if I've been there yet. <clears throat> well, how can I test if this thing's stronger or not? Uh, there we go. Find an enemy that was giving you trouble and see if it does more damage? Well, this guy wasn't giving me trouble, but... Oh, yeah. All right, let me see your map when you can. Yeah. Uh, zoom in. Okay, you have not been to the Limgrave Tunnels. Do you want me to just show you where it is? Sure. It's just another one of those, like, shrine dungeons with miners in it. So uh, go go to the right with that lake, right? Go, this lake? Yep. That lake there. Go to that tip at the very north of the lake. Other way? Other north? This tip? Left or north? That tip right there. That's the tunnels. Yeah, miners in here have an 8% chance to drop. I guess that's better than nothing. Yeah. I mean, they're common enough that they're found in a lot of different places, but as far as, like, a recurring farm goes, that's your, that's your best bet for the moment. Yeah, let's check it out before we end for today. Hmm? Yeah. There is also another trick to get lots and lots of smithing stones from a store, but it's a bit Bin later hatch. on. Oh. No, no, it's it's uh, it's it's a legit thing. It's just much later. So eventually you can just buy shit. Puppies. Uh oh. And just another one of these.
I kind of liked how Breath of the Wild handled these better. The shrines. How, yeah, how each one was just like, okay, solve a puzzle. Yeah, okay, I was good. fine with I was fine with that. They were on the most part pretty fun. Or sometimes the, they were combat challenges. Sometimes, yeah. But they always felt distinct. A lot of these mini dungeons scattered around the map here feel like the fucking Oh, you didn't play Bloodborne. There's a part of Bloodborne that this feels like, and it's the worst part of Bloodborne. Oh. Fortunately, it's also the most optional part of Bloodborne. Hey, there's one. But yeah, a lot of the same enemies, a lot of the same rooms, just copy-pasted and rearranged. The one in Bloodborne is procedurally generated, whereas this is, you know, fixed, but other than that... Yeah, dog, if you ever hear anyone complaining about the chalice dungeons, that's what they're talking about. That's these? Yeah. Of course there's a fucking trophy for it, so of course I did the stupid thing. But yeah, they're not a good time. This one seems alright. This, I mean, one in and of itself, sure. Around the 50th you start to go, eh. Or at least I did. I've got my double smacker balls. Wait a minute. Uh, this is the way you came in. Oh. Which way do I go, then? Uh, there's probably a couple of paths down here. Oh. This time for real. We. I was not wary of fire. But fire was wary of you. Raise the ladder.
Hmm. How about no? Okay. Give it a shot. You fought these guys in the overworld. And slow. You can smack him right in the dick. There we go. And then he does that. Yeah, see, he ain't shit. I guess that's it. Alright, I got some smithing stones out of that. So, let's see then. Back to the hold. Isn't this place impressive, though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished. Had such fantastic roots, although... It's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. Uh... Some kind of gift. I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly he does appear intimidating, and I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So I can tell. If I do have a talent for spirit tuning, I suppose I shall ask my Okay. Yeah, do a thing. Achieve your your potential. You for dead. No matter. Lay out your arm. Need more smithing stone twos now. Let's take a look. Well, I'm going to use some of these, get a level, and call it a day. Smithing stone twos can be found frequently dropped in the Raya Lucaria crystal tunnel in northeast Lyurnia. Okay. I don't think I've been up quite that far northeast yet, but okay. No. Yeah, it's north of the academy. All right. Almost. I think I want 18 strength so I can try out some higher strength dex weapons. Or you could say fuck it and dump everything into faith and become a cleric. No. I'm 
Does that need 18? Okay. All right, folks. Thank you for watching today. That'll be all for, for now. Uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to do some more Ghost Trick. Uh, yeah. Um, I have... I have a show at 2. Okay. I have to be there at 1, my time, so that's 4, your time. Okay, so after then? Um, after, I would be getting home probably around 6.30 or 9.30, your time? Oh, wow. Is that, that probably a, a bit late. too late for you? I was thinking before. Okay, yeah, I'll try and be up. So, if we start at, let's see, if we start at, say, 9, that would be noon for you. Okay. Is that too early? No, that's fine. Noon's fine. Okay. All right. And uh, that's at twitch.tv slash raucous42. Uh, hello, here I am. All right, let's find someone to host over to, and we'll see you next time.